the other secret of farming for the cows is this grass here. I think I'm among the very few farmers in Kenya with this grass. They get water from there and irrigate whatever you want to irrigate. Yeah, 140,000 liters. With these seven feet, I can feed my 30 cows for at least minimum one year. Farming is not very easy, it's fun. <laughs> is it rewarding? It is rewarding. Hello. Hello. Say hi. How are you? Wow. It's more than I could think of asking. So I'm very happy for receiving a donation. This is the African village. When you visit, you are given foodstuffs. Yes, to take back where you came from. We are very thankful and happy for the stuff. Yeah, guys, and these are fruits. Can you see? Mm. This is a whole tree full of fruits. This is how big the tree is. Yes. So now I'm wondering, we can take you this is an African village. We can see this is the, <laughs> the this is the villager. Yeah, the villager. This is the actual villager <laughs> in, a, in an African village, <laughs> and that's why you can see some farm produce. <laughs> we are in Moranga County, <laughs> and our aunt is here, and she's the owner of this African village. Home. <laughs> How is life in the African village? Just relaxing. So, guys, this is our auntie. As we have said, this is. L over here hi guys. and the baby. Sema, hi. How does it feel like living in this village? This is like a modern village. The difference is that and the goodness is you get all what you want when you want it. Not like when they are coming and uh, they have slept on the way like one week. <laughs> so here yeah. we get fresh produce from the farm and organically done. No use of um, no use of fertilizers. So what did you say this tree is? This is uh, soa soap. Soa soap. Or graviora fruit. Oh, nice. It's a fruit that is uh, medicinal. Uh -huh. It has properties of anti cancer, uh -huh. anti hypertensive, and uh, they say ulcers, it treats diabetes. Uh -huh. uh, the sugar uh -huh. is recommended for in the, in the, in the line of uh, the muarubainis. Oh. Hello, doggy. Yeah, so this is Guys, yeah, so you can see this is some dairy cows. Ooh, oh, nice. <laughs> This big lady here. What? Mm. This is the, the mother, mother of, of that. Yeah. And now she's pregnant with another one. Yeah. And she's pregnant. Mm. So right now it's feeding time. Mm. So there we are. A new king time. We do three times. Mm -hmm. We do three times a day, so they, we do it at 6 a.m., from midday, and again at uh, 6 p.m., 6, 7 p.m. So I'm assuming in the morning it's the most milk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is three times. Most people do twice. 
we do three times because the more you milk, the more you stimulate the cow to produce. Because they are high yielders, you cannot do them twice. They will get mastitis. Oh. Mm. These ones here, they are all heifers. They are all in calf, apart from Hush mm. is not in calf yet. She's supposed to have started. Sorry, 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 Jenny. She's supposed to have been in calf before the rest, but she got unwell. Mm. So now she's late. The others are in calf, so we are, wait we are waiting for heifers, I believe, not bulls. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. yeah, because having, having heifers is more advantageous. Yes. Yeah. Then, you know, this, this one, who looks like Farasi, mm. she will be the tallest girl. You can see, she just was, she has only carved once. Mm -hmm. She's the daughter of that one in the, in the, in the, in the, in the pala, in the milk in pala. Oh, that's She's it. She's the granddaughter of, oh, wow. of that mama there. Oh. So that's the mom over there. Yes, the mom. Of the mom to that to that one, and yes. that's the mother to this one. Yes. Oh, and they they are so big. Yeah. So this one has only had one, one one calf, one heifer, and you can see the way she's tall. <laughs> so she'll be very tall. This one has calved twice. Wow. And that one has also calved twice. Twice. This one is the mother of this beautiful girl here. This one, the mother of. Of oh. that. Mm. Wow. Mm. And this one, the mother is, uh, where is Lucy? <laughs> There's a Lucy here. There's a Lucy? Where? 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 Lucy, uh, that one. They eat, they finish, especially the, the concentrate. They are put, the, the concentrate is put, and after from the food, the evil, so that they don't keep on jumping at you, thinking that one is eating a lot, and they jump and they end up. Oh, so they, like they are locked. So that they, when they finish, you open, then they can move slowly. Oh. They can eat for the way they want, but for concentrate, they wanna pimiwa. Kila, kila ngombe. Kama ni wa two kilos, ni wa two kilos. Kama kuna ala wa three kilos, ifo. So we make sure they eat what we have, unless they finish. Then we have uh, the big bull here. This one needs to happen to come when we are opening, we are opening the hotel. <laughs> He has been in waiting. He was a small, small a bull. Mm. This one now is a very fierce bull. He cannot be. During the hotel, when he was that size. Which one? This one? Because this is also bulls now. Oh, this is a bull? Yes. If you see the cow with a pin, she's a, she's a fighter. Oh. So when we want them not to fight, now I can't even fight with Gina and Akia with Chugu and Acha. So like the one going to the trap uh -huh. and that one. You are Maligo and Akia with Gina. So they have mattresses for them to sleep in. It's a continuous sheet. And they even have music. Yeah, they have, you can see music up there. Music. They use that for heating water. Oh, you have to come on. Yes, so this, this water here now, Agamana is going there. This water can be very hot. So basically, mm. we use their dung to heat their water. Wow. Mm. So, what the Timadi Watu, what the kids do, the kids us as the fuel, the kids as the, the, the manure, the kids as milk, and the kids as cows. And the cows are the animals. What are you and I know that you want to do? You call them dopers. Yeah. What does dopers mean? It's hybrid of kodo. Oh. Mm. So these are hybrids. Mm. This one here, the dad, mm. I got it from Old Pajeta Ranch in the new thing, the big, the big, the big uh, dume, the dume, and I bought it at twenty-two k. Twenty twenty-two k. 
They are worse than humans. They get abnormalities. Mm. Mm. That manure there is very... That's the one we use because it's already, it has already gone through the biodigester. Mm -hmm. So it has no adudus, nothing. It's very nice manure. And that is what we use for the farm. So we don't use any spray on our crops. There's a biodigester there. Then the excreta. And then the, the collection is of two holes. You can see the one with the when the pare one. What we do, the process is like this. It's a beehive of activity. Mm -hmm. So they feed this thing. Mm -hmm. When it is full, one mm -hmm. Then they remove all the debris, the mm -hmm. ma mahuti. Because mm -hmm. you cannot put it through the system with mahuti. Mm -hmm. So when they remove the mahuti, they make a kind of a uji. Mm -hmm. So when it becomes uji and it doesn't have the debris, mm. you, re you remove this gate valve. Mm. This is a gate. <laughs> it oh. keeps the gate. Mm. It's just a gate to, to, block, to block the knee, to block from going uh, down. From going down. Mm. So when you are sure that you have made enough uji, mm. like yogurt, mm. you now remove mm. and it goes. Oh. So here, where mm. you can see this car, mawe like, mm. there. Not the big one, this other one, which mm. looks like a kamtungi. Mm. That is the main biogas. Mm. Oh. So down Apo there, there's a big... Mm. Because it's very hot. Yes. But we pray that it will never cave. It will never cave. Now, the other one, the dome, mm. is just the, the breather. Oh. So everything corrects there before they go to the two pits. Oh, those two now pits. the two pits mm. we open a gate for yeda pandehi mm. ikija mm. ikikauka mm. wanatoa dio ile pale mm. wanatoa mm. then they open the other they, they open for the fresh need to go where they have removed oh mm. okay and then you no 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 not now and then so, you you inakuwa manyo for the shamba ama yes for the shamba mm. Wow. And if you see, if you look even where the, 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 the chicken are doing their work, oh, there. they feed from, the, there's a lot of, we grow a lot of worms through mm. the free, when we wash their pens, mm. all that dung goes flowing and it goes developing the, the soil, the worms, the two worms mm. for the chicken. Mm. So we then, don't buy feed for the chicken. Oh, because they can So eat, they feed uh, from those worms. Wow. And for from the pigs, we we dung it here. Mm -hmm. This is pig dung. Mm. So in the morning, we find the chicken very busy here mm. because in the morning mm. the the pig dung mm. grows a lot of worms again. Mm. So they are here now, eating, pecking, white, pecking. Wow. It's a, at a ukikuja when the sun just starts rising. Mm. You do with a car stick like this. Mm. You see a spill of going down. It's only to minyo to naena to kikorogana. So chicken, wana kuda wana nini. So how a cook, what an chinchia, maybe that's a jachinja. Wako fat and tasty. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, are you seeing? This is an African village. Soup. Mm. This is the real Kenyaji. Mm. This is not improved Kenyaji. It is real Kenyaji. Wow. Yeah. Oh, these and, are amazing. And you can see, much as we are in a very hot uh, uh, season, we are blessed. Because eh? mm -hmm. first of all, the seeds we use for our maize is special. We use the yellow maize mm. only. It's a special yellow maize. So even when it is very hot, because we are using it for just our cows, for the for fonda. But like now, we are waiting for it to dry up so that we have high, nutritious, Unga, yellow unga. So we eat our yellow ugali. So ikikauka, we will get some seeds from there, and we will get our unga from there for our ugali. So the same 
Mahindi is the one you use again to plant. We will try this time. We have never oh, done you've it. Never done it. We want to because they are, you can see they are big. Mm. So to tasadua na mkono. Sio ile ya kurumulia. Ile ya kusandua so mm. that you get quality seeds. And then Lucy, all the organic po- purples, you can see the trees. Yeah, wow. Oh, our purples. And the, and the plantains, you can see the they are behind there. Those are plantains, and the bananas are in the other farm. Wow. And the and the the mangoes. Yeah, I can see a mango tree over there. What is that? Which one? Right here. This one. This one is a. It was just a, a tank to collect the storm water. But now it will be coll- It will be. It, it is also a reservoir for when it is like this. So when we need to irrigate and we don't have much pressure, mm. they get water from there and irrigate whatever we want to irrigate. Oh, so it's also a reservoir for water? Yeah, 140,000 liters. And, and that is from the rain? From the rain, or uh, we collect, like now when the sun is very hot and we are using the borehole, so we feed it with that water. Oh, so that's where Instead you... Instead of water overflowing from the tanks, because yeah. sometimes you find the water overflowing everywhere because the sun is very hot. Because mm. we use solar to pump the water, yeah. so, so when they it overflow. overflows, the overflow we put it there. Oh, oh nice! Mm. Oh, that's a good arrangement. Yeah. So this is actually a real village. And now you guys, you guys can attest this is a now, village and now. Our, our Kenyaji chicken, they know their time. When their time is there to go and sleep, they go to this middle middle pen. This the, one. The, 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 that one is our our storage for the hay. The upstairs, the downstairs is for the when I want to do the broilers. Oh, nice. The the improve the improve the chicken oh. for the restaurant. For those who who love quick uh, you fast own. food, yeah. And, uh, and we it is still operated by the biogas. Wow. Yeah, the what? lighting and the heating for the chicks. Oh. Yeah. So you don't use KPLC. When I do when I do my chicks, because sometimes I use the, the hands to to to, to hatch, mm. but they are not very efficient because mm. they are used to just hatching and we collect. Eh? Mm. So we want to when I do the hatching, because like you now I have some some eggs in the incubator. Mm-hmm. I'll breed the two chicks in this pens here. Oh, and then I use the this one I use the charcoal mm. or the. The solar lighting mm-hmm. warm, warm the, the two oh, yeah. When they are four weeks, mm. I like disposing them at four weeks if I have to sell to people who want Kenyaji, real Kenyaji. Oh. So you sell, you also sell? Yes. And How much do you sell it? The best dis- business. How much do you sell a it? A four-week old chick mm. is 300 shillings. Mm-hmm. Oh. Four weeks. So that is how we get our little revenue. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is farming easy? You, the way you, you make it sound is like all these things are peered. They're eco, biogas eco, things are just working. Is it Far- easy? Farming is not very easy, mm. but it is uh, it's fun. <laughs> is it rewarding? It is rewarding because you don't have to put down your pen and say, I'm using so much, especially for the workers. Mm-hmm. Because those workers will work for their food, they will plant as much as you wish. But if you're not uh, very innovative, you keep on buying food for them. But you can decide they will eat from the farm. Oh, so because whatever we are seeing here is mm-hmm. labor. Yeah? Yeah. And so if you have enough food for them, like now I have maize there waiting, I do not have to think about buying for them uga. And what about the, for the animals? And even kitugu, themselves? even the animals. Mm. I had the 12 acres of maize. Mm. So this one is just what I have set aside for our consumption mm-hmm. about two acres. Mm. So the 12, 12 acres, mm. we have, let's go. <laughs> 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 we have food silage. Danny, come, we go and see silage. So we, we have food silage. So the 12 acres have pitted into seven feet. So this is number one feet. Mm-hmm. So when we, because I was doing a lot of pigs and I sold it for some time, now we have converted this into into the side edge pits. So this is pit number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and six. I think there's seven pits. 
Yeah, and the last one over there. And the last one, yeah. They have 70 to get me. So 70 feet. So now, with these 70 feet, I can feed my 30 cows for at least minimum one year. What? Yes. Wow. These are 12 acres of maize. Plantation. So that was your maize that you All grew? this maize with the combs, with everything, mm. when it is just uh, sweet corn, mm. that is when we harvest. Mm. So, so, so when, be, before it kauke, yeah. before you, you mm. kauke, when it's still na yo maji maji andani, mm. Mm. they, they take apple. it. Now, and this is rusan, this is the protein. Yeah? Mm. What protein? And don't forget even maize, when it is at that level, it's protein. Mm. But this is the highest protein. It's called Rusan. Rusan, you know, we have to Rusan, eh? We have to do it. So, Rusan, we have to do it every two weeks. We have to do it. Oh, we have to do it. Yes. You planted it. Mm. Or you have to plant it so that you have it. See, weed, it's just... No, no, this is not weed. This is the highest yielding protein. Wow. For cows. You can see, I'm going to have to establish Lusan, mm -hmm. we are talking about the Ramea farm, mm -hmm. not Joki farm. <laughs> now, when the maize, we have a set like this. Oh. So this one now was not worth putting in a pit. Mm -hmm. It could not fit. Oh. So they decided there will be siagaring for the cows mm -hmm. direct. Mm -hmm. As long as it doesn't have fresh water. When the cows consume fresh water, the, the very green, mm -hmm. they start developing disease. Because mm -hmm. they will not take enough water. So oh. you have to let it become like this, mm. then you you you, you sharp cut it. Oh, okay. And then the other the other secret of farming mm -hmm. for the cows mm. is this grass here. Mm -hmm. I think I'm at the, uh, among the very few farmers in Kenya mm. with this grass. You which grass? Through. Which grass this is, is this? Called Bracaria. Mm. Bra? Bracaria. Mm. Bracaria. Bracaria is a new introduction from Kali, mm. and uh, it, again it's number two from uh, Lusan mm. on protein. Mm. This one, when you see the cow with that kind of under, hapa mm. diomazwe inatoka. Hapa na pare. And then of course the syringe. This one we have planted. Wow. If you went to the farm, you could see. Yeah. I've planted uh, an acre of this, mm. and I've planted uh, more than an acre of the Lusan. Wow. So this is good because mm. someone may just think those cows are just eating from the grass that you cut from outside there. Or, we don't even we, we don't even no. go to cut anything mm. at your daily basis. Mm. We do our harvesting. Mm -hmm. So if it's a week of harvesting the Rusan, we have a store of it. Mm. If it's a week of harvesting the black area, all of it. Mm. So the work of the workers mm. is just to shaft cut. Mm. Mm. And, and then and, to and milk. then na kuchota, mm. this one will have to stay for twenty one days. Mm. There are some we have opened. Mm. This one is fresh. So this will have to wait for 21 days from the day we put the first one. For them to open the first one, that you see. Oh, wow. Because it is fermenting. Yeah. So we mix molasses with the base so that it can ferment. And this is where milk is. So we to add that. So this this is is uh, it, it, it's only fed when it's dry. Yes. Oh, our ponder. Uh -huh. We don't feed any ponder green. Mm -hmm. Never. Yes. That is by instructions. Never, because my cows will remain healthy for as long as I'm giving them, but not dry. You know, like on a green. Mm. So we put it like this. Natoa majiote. In a car, to Naikata today, mm. then tomorrow is collecting if it's not raining. Mm. If it is not, if it's raining, we collected the bad day. Mm. Oh. Then you come and store it nicely. Soon as you have to go to the because cows are very prone to aflatoxin. You have to be very careful. Wow, that's a lot of work, honestly. Wow, farming is very because if you can get stay organized like that make sure that you have enough storage of honda then you can be buying the concentrate whichever you want mm. the daily meal and whatever else for the other car land carving like the maize jam the pollards but rarely pollard we use with maize jam and uh bran bran especially for the for the bulls mm. 
and we use a little powdered on them but powdered mostly for the pigs Poland ina kuanga eh. ka powder powder hizi yes. eh. iko ukishika ina hata ukifinya hivi inashikana mm. yeah. na very yeah so i will show cows. you what Poland is okay. kuna oh. Poland and brand for the for the for the sheep mm -hmm. for the dopers they use and the and the we we give our animals even so in as much as It all the same. Mm. So in as that's much as we can see them in these houses, mm. they are still eating organic stuff. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Mm. This is just for control. So that's that they they don't so that they don't move around. Yeah, they don't go out. And and them. fall they even in the pits. Ah. Mm. They can they come out, but that is why we have put the fencing. So they cannot go to eat. Thank you very much for taking that us around. Was, that was amazing. And now you guys can attest. <laughs> like I was saying that she is she is um a villager if you look there well, that's where we were it looks like a very actually it is a very modern house but this is a modern village this is how we live in africa nowadays we still have our modern houses we still have our animals and you can see the animals are serving us very well in the biogas and some of the feces from from the cows the and dung. the pigs the dung sorry <laughs> the the, <laughs> the dung do you know just the mkulima anajua the right terms <laughs> so the dung mm. is what the chicken are eating the worms mm. so everything is organic mm. and then these uh, drums here <laughs> these drums here they are not here for fun <laughs> look dirty but uh, it is storage for our whey what is that our whey What is, is whey? The head product of milk when it is when you do cheese. Mm -hmm. Because we are we are selling our milk to somebody who is doing cheese, mm -hmm. which I hope I'll be doing soon. Eh? Mm -hmm. So the head product is called whey. Mm -hmm. Very rich. Mm -hmm. So this is what we feed our pigs on. Oh. Yeah, plus other things of course. So when we when we take the, so he disposes the whey to us. Oh, he takes the milk from away. you. He takes the milk and then he, he disposes the, the whey. Mm. Oh, that's a uh, that's a good by benefit. The way, hui, you, you, you feed your, your by the way, whey is recommended to be given to children when they are having diarrhea. Wow. And this is one of our gentlemen who is making a uh, Mr. Caleb has been with us for as long how the can this me at that so in elegance she did huh ah no way so we have stayed with the calen for many years amefanya hapa amefanya berevi na amefanya kwa hotel if you had the time you'd make for you very nice samosa and you can attest to his cooking yesterday oh, yeah. yeah yesterday we ate oh thank you so much for the food it was amazing <laughs> Ilikuwa poa sana hiyo nyama. Hiyo yeah. ndo tulikula tuka knock out, tuka lala. Hata atwindi. ni mtoto wa my sister ile ana kwanza US. Bwana yake ni mtoto hapo. So mkiona sio sio unajua. Ina mshisho wa wengi. This is mine when I want to do some exercise. Mm. I do it myself. Sio kutumana. So hii ni yangu ya kujipandia. Oh, hapa ndo mali sasa una chukua vitungu the what but naona nikiongeza hii nafanya kazi mzuri so when i do samosas just get my spring onions from here did you bring did you bring more soil am i ni soil hapa no ni soil hapa so when i want to do my lemon my concoction just come here wow. i shika pale na tuna from up like now i can see there are some which are ready So it's what I do wow. extra curricular. Wow. <laughs> so because we could hapa is becoming ilikuwa kichaka si naona hiyo. Hiyo mimi nimetoa nikagusha hapa. Hiyo idiot. Eh. So ilikuwa kichaka kubwa. Then nyasi kakata. Nikaona badala ikae kichaka. Let me try some onions. <laughs> What can you tell the people who want to become farmers? There's nothing like wanting to become a farmer because people always want to eat. <laughs> so it is about setting uh, having a mindset of doing something food wise. Mm -hmm. 
and you cannot just cook what you're not what you're not growing so even if it is that little onion try to grow at your backyard if it, even if it's a kale or a spinach mm. just do something that is already farming but uh, of course farming can also be commercial it can be a lifestyle it can be anything it can be a livelihood it's only if I mean, what you have set yourself to do, do it and do it with all your, all your heart, and do it well. You don't have to do it. You don't have to use all your energy there, but just be smart. I do a lot of walking around. It's being a mbwa. <laughs> management by walking around. <laughs> but you cannot also be walking around just micromanaging people. You have to be having the information before them so that you're able to dis to to direct your workers and what you want them to do. They cannot be the other way around them telling you what to do. It is you to tell them. So you have to know your staff before you can engage into farming. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Those are very good, nice parting short words. Mm. Thank you very much for taking us around. Yeah. And Asante Sana. Thank you for having us. This is me for Sana. Lakini <laughs> we've really enjoyed, even though it was very short lived, but we'll be back, of course. So I'm humbled by your presence, and we wish you uh, journey masses and uh, prosperity in all your endeavors. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Subscribe to these guys, they are, they have, uh, they, are, they are going far. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you very much <laughs> so guys i hope you've learned a lot from that long interview that we've gone around this farm she is gracious enough to share what she's done and guys we we hope you learned something so we're in kenya right now and this is a modern african village so so hope you've learned something she was forthcoming with everything i didn't have to ask so much so that um maybe i i make the interview go in a certain way i just let her talk so that she gives you an in-depth analysis of her own farm because this is her farm this is her home she's the best to do it not really me so oh guys sorry about this is my baby my baby just decided to do this to me so um apart from that guys see you in the next episode i hope you love um you loved watching this african village this is a modern african village see you in the next episode peace out and please don't forget to subscribe for more of these videos peace out guys and watch out for our next video love you